Okay. If you want to uh, set up for supervised mm -hmm. lesson, you could. These are kind of a drag. These. I'm oh, sorry. I did something really wrong. Uh, loosen up a little bit. Let's get this strap right under your sacrum down there, and then down there. Yeah. So you can draw the heels in as close as you like that way. And instead of going forward, she's going to go drop the back into a soup to body last night. Um, if you work in private with somebody, you could. Or if you work in class, you could use blocks. Mm -hmm. Because the knees have a resting place. Size up and stuff like that. And you could, but it's probably more effective to get this in and take the shoulder blades down. So, uh, there are variations on this with uh, backward bending, like cloud of fish. So, you want to try that? Sure. I'm just going to show, show you this. I don't think we need to practice it. Each other, just so that you see what all the, all the vari variations could be. Let's try another first. Yeah, yeah looks good. Here's the other one. Do you feel like your knees would drop for you? Mm -hmm. Or you can do it without that at all. If you, if you take that away, it becomes a little less restorative. That's going to stop. Here because you need a quick release strap for this. Teach it around the world all the time. Uh, come on to one knee. Flop over. She goes to New York. All the way up and under. Onto your belly. Good. Now try to bring your feet before. Now try to bring your pelvis before. So basically, the knees are going to be down while you're trying to bring your feet. Then you pull the knees are down. The knees, the feet, and the pelvis at the floor at the same time. So you could do a gentle pressure that way. It's a major uh,